Hey guys, everything new under the sun. I'm gonna show you today how to edit a 360 video in iMovie. Now there's lots of conflicting information. Does it work? Does it not work? Um, I will tell you that it worked for me and I will tell you how it worked. So I have a eBay 360 camera. Um, there's no brand name on it, but it's got a lens on each side. It takes 360 degree video, as you can see in this uh, a sample clip that I have in iMovie. And so it is full 360 degree video. It is stretched out, obviously. It's not the case uh, when with the Gear 360, for example, it will have basically two circles in the preview screen there, uh, meaning that you have to stitch the videos together. The camera that I have stitches the video together into, at least in this view, a flat uh, image. Uh, and then when you upload to YouTube, it will be 360. Now here are the various clips that I have. You can see the little icon in the left top le uh, left of the uh, image or the uh, uh, the clip. Uh, I have not determined exactly what that means uh, in terms of help uh, documentation um, and, and maybe you can help me there but I do believe it actually means 360 degree video and because it's if I look at my other videos these are not 360 uh, degree these are not uh, they don't have the same image there so these are all 360 degree uh, videos what you can do is you can drag and drop them drag them down into your timeline you can uh, trim them as you need to uh, I believe you can even add audio overlays um, in fact yes I did add an audio overlay I believe in, in the video that I was uh, doing <clears throat> um, but you can you can edit them, you can trim the clips, put them all together. As soon as you put a non 360 degree video into the mix, at least when I tried it, uh, it was uploaded to YouTube as a standard, <clears throat> you know, 16 by 9 or whatever video, not a 360 video. But if you keep them all 360 videos, apparently iMovie does know enough to keep the metadata there, or it's at least preserved uh, from the original import um, to an allow YouTube to recognize it as a 360 video. So you go ahead, export this. Um, you can export this video um, to YouTube as the various options in the top right hand corner. And uh, indeed, YouTube will recognize it as a 360 video. And then you can go to your uh, YouTube video and view it in 360. And I can, can confirm it definitely worked for me. So YouTube definitely does not at least scrub the metadata for 360 videos. And uh, it definitely works, especially if your video is already stitched. If you have to stitch it, well, iMovie doesn't stitch. Uh, but you can certainly edit 360 videos otherwise in terms of uh, trimming clips, making them shorter, longer, etc. Now, I haven't got into cropping, uh, image overlay. That may or may not adjust your metadata. That's for another video. Um, but just so you know, you can do some basic editing of 360 video uh, while preserving the 360 meta metadata that is required for YouTube to be able to um, uh, view it uh, or present it to uh, viewers functionally so that you can scroll around just like any other 360 video. So quick little video there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps somebody. And iMovie does indeed allow you to edit 360 video uh, if, if only uh, limited, in a limited way.